Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly love reading for the sign of Gemini. So if you're a Gemini sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or if you have a stellium in Gemini, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Okay. All right. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Universe. Messages for Gemini. Thank you. Thank you. Messages for Gemini, please. Messages for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Universe. Messages for Gemini, please. Messages for Gemini. Messages for Gemini, please. Okay, what is this energy, Gemini? Five of Wands, Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck is Six of Swords. If you were dealing with a situation that had a lot of drama, that created a lot of drama, you are moving away from that situation. You are moving away from that connection. Whatever it is, you are moving away from that. You are going through right now some sort of ending here, I definitely feel. Like something ended, this conflict ended. This could have been something in the family, friends or a love situation where things ended. This There was too much drama and things had to end. And now you are trying to heal from this uh, situation, trying to move towards calmer waters. You are moving towards stability here. All right. And you are healing. You are in the middle of the healing process. So if you're not done healing yet, it's okay to take some time out. It's okay to be in this period where you are in the middle. Neither you are completely healed nor you have moved on from this uh, drama completely you are healing you are in a lot of pain and it's you need to give yourself time some time to heal from this pain to move away from or um this whatever this painful situation was you need time give yourself time to move on from this move away from this and till then if you feel like not socializing with anyone not giving your energy to anyone holding back from giving to others it is okay you need to take care of yourself right now okay you need to choose yourself you need it's okay if you choose to hold back your energy from someone else right now from people around you all right okay Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, so eight, eight here. You're walking away from things here and you are deciding whatever it is you're walking away from. It could be a past job you're walking away from or this was, a, you know, a long-term commitment, a long-time uh, business you had with someone and it, it did give you a lot of happiness in the past but it is not giving you that kind of happiness anymore. And you are deciding to focus on your and focus your energy on something else. You could be working on something else. You are really, really focused in it. You are trying to perfect that skill, whatever you are learning here. Okay. You're building something new, different, definitely. After you have walked away from a past commitment. It could be very possible that once you decided to walk away from this business or whatever it was, if it was something in your family or it was a partnership you had with your friends. There was a lot of drama. People didn't like the fact that you wanted to move away from this, move on from this. And this caused a lot of drama. This caused a lot of pain. You didn't expect that sort of pain. 
and now slowly you are moving on from that pain and you are working on yourself and bottom of the deck is the emperor here yeah you're working on something that is going to bring you a lot of stability and you're very very focused on that you don't want to give your energy to this past situation to this past drama anymore which is okay which is fine and that is why you are putting in a lot of hard work right now okay gemini don't let this past drama don't let this past people whatever this uh, drama was whatever the situation was don't let this past pain define your future don't let it get to your head don't let it make these words people said to you while you were moving away from them don't let it get to your head and make you feel insecure okay you are showing up as this emperor so don't let past things past things people said past words um, hurt you or get to your head okay don't go into that overthinking mode don't go into that illusion of what if people are right what if i can't do this thing that i'm pursuing what if i am i do not succeed should i have left that whatever i was putting my work on before you know that sort of a thing don't go get into that dialogue all right okay let's see what's coming in love what who is coming in love okay gemini in love those are too many cards gemini in love please Okay, a Sagittarius could be coming in. All right. Bottom of the de deck is strength here. This person, whoever is coming in towards you, they are trying to balance themselves. They are trying to gain the strength to come towards this connection. Okay. This Knight of Pentacles, so someone is coming in. Ooh, and the three of swords. Bottom of the deck is the three of cups here. So whoever is coming in is in a bit of pain. They have gone through some things. They are still going through things. This pain can be caused by someone else. Or there was a third party situation that this person is ending to come towards you. They want reunion with you. Okay. But they are coming in very slowly. This person also could be trying to balance themselves after this heartbreak happened. Um, if this was a heartbreak between the both of you, this person is in it still in a lot of pain. Even if they don't admit it when they come in, they behave stubbornly while they come in and they pretend like everything is okay. They are extremely balanced. They are very strong. They have managed to overcome this pain. Don't fall for that bullshit because they are in a lot of pain right now. Could be dealing with a Leo, if I didn't mention that already. Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles. You could have been already married to this person, uh, but this person feels a lot of distance between the both of you. With the four of wands, there was a lot of happy times between the uh, both of you. You were very happy when you were in this connection. But right now, the things are not okay. This person feels very, very alone. You moved away probably from this connection. And the moment you moved away, you, this person started missing your energy. Okay. And that is why they feel very left out in the cold. This person feels very lonely right now. And there is distance between the both of you. The world and the ace of cups came out. A cycle definitely ended between the both of you. And this person is scared that the reason they are feeling this lonely is because they think that 
the cycle has ended once and for all. This person also could have taken a hell lot of time to come towards you, right? If this is this person caused you pain and you walked away from this person, then they took a they took a lot of la time to come towards you. They also took a lot of time to realize the feelings they have for you. All right. You could be dealing with uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius. And as I said, Aquarius, the star card is here. This person needs to balance themselves. There's a lot of imbalance. They are very, very emotionally imbalanced. Uh, they are very overwhelmed with their feelings. This person realizing suddenly that they do have feelings for you. They are pretty overwhelmed. They might also be feeling like, what if I'm too late and what if this connection is gone? What if we don't have another chance? What if there's no more chances and it is done? And that is making this person feel very, very overwhelmed. I also think that this person needs to heal, but because they're Im very emotionally imbalanced, they are not working on the healing that much. Instead, they're feeling very lonely. Yeah, look at that, Seven of Cups. They're very, very in their mind right now. They're very confused. This, the feelings they have for you is very strong and they haven't probably dealt with these kind of feelings in the past and suddenly they feeling so much for you is making them go very upside down. I also feel like I heard the world upside down so their world could be right now turned upside down. They might have difficulty functioning properly right now, doing their daily chores right now because they're too much in their head, they're confused. They are also thinking about you a lot. They could be in the woulda, coulda, shoulda mode. Okay. of swords they are trying to be very very logical here they are trying to use the logic to cut through all of this uh, emotions they are feeling very emotional and they are trying their best to not feel that much emotional they are trying to use logic to cut through that emotions they are also trying to be logical but it's not really working they are just ending up being in their head too much about you you as this fool someone who has opportunities someone who is bold enough to take jump off the cliff so they see you as someone who's very very bold who is very very sure of themselves even if uh, you don't know what the outcome is you don't shy away from taking that step you also have a lot of opportunities coming in. You have good things coming towards you. This is how this person sees you. They also see that their back is turned towards them. So you are not looking at them. You are not interested in them. You have already invested in some place else. This doesn't necessarily mean another uh, person, but it could mean something in work too. You are really focused on your work and you are seeing some sort of outcome when it comes to your work. You could be doing really well financially in your career yeah four of swords 
there's definitely silence between the both of you and uh, this person sees you as someone who's trying to heal from the situation who has completely taken a break and the more you and the more you are trying to heal yourself trying to give yourself time and you're trying to distance yourself this person is feeling like you are ignoring them or you are sl slowly moving away or moving on from them the eight of swords and the two of swords is here okay and in both these cards she has a blindfold on you don't want to look towards them you don't want to look at them you don't want to look at the situation you don't want to make any decision this is what prob this is how this person sees you and that is what is confusing them more they might have waited they might have expected you to make some moves but you didn't king of cups This person has emotions for you but the king of cups doesn't express their emotions ah and here we go the eight of wands they want to communicate with you they want to come towards you but here we go with the devil whatever toxicity was there in the past um you manage to detach yourself from this toxicity you cut through this toxicity you detached yourself this person might feel like you have managed to get over them you have managed to move on from them something that they did not expect they did not expect you to move on from them but you have but they haven't this person is very obsessed with you you have even though you have managed to get your distance from this person this person is still very very obsessed with you bottom of the deck is we have the page of pentacles and the queen of cups the king of cups is also here so there are mutual emotions here and this person is going to come you come towards you with an offer the page an offer is coming a message is coming towards you it is going to be very slow but there is communication coming it will be pretty unexpected but because the devil is here be a bit careful be a bit careful when it comes to offering your emotions because this person with the devil and the king of cups they might try to emotionally manipulate you they might try to get a confession out, out of you or force you manipulate you in a way so that you confess something to them you say that you have feelings for them you still have feelings for them you still want them and that way they will be the one who has the you know like the upper hand this is a very weird energy this person might try to emotionally manipulate you to get an upper hand on you uh, on this situation on this connection they might try to force you or coax you talk to you in a certain way that you end up confessing yourself so be a bit careful of this energy take your time all right let's see the advice that okay the lovers the tower And bottom of the deck is the two of cups here. Okay. If in the past this connection was very fast, this connection happened very suddenly and things moved pretty fast and because of which the tower happened, uh, the things came crumbling down because there was a lot of toxicity there was emotional manipulation there was unequal give and take because i feel like this person emotionally manipulated you in the past too if that's what happened and that is why this connection ended between the both of you be careful your advice is to be careful that that thing doesn't repeat because if that 
unequal give and take happens again, then the tower is going to happen again. Universe is going to, you know, bring distance between the both of you. This person will come in and they will try to emotionally manipulate you. Don't get fooled by love. Don't get emotionally manipulated because of love. Because you do feel uh, love for this person. The two of cups. You have feelings for this person. The lovers. The two of cups. You do see them as a soulmate. You do see a connection with them. And this person might have not given you as much as they should have in the past. This, these are the bottom of the decks. The ten of pentacles. The six of pentacles. The two of cups. If you want this stable connection, if you want a soulmate relationship, if you want equal give and take, then don't accept offers that are not worthy of you. The five of swords. Don't accept this kind of energy because if they come in and try to emotionally manipulate you, the tower is going to happen again if there's unequal give and take. If you want this 10 of pentacles, 6 of pentacles, 2 of cups energy, then you need to make sure that the foundation of your connection is strong. Whoever you are connecting with, whether it's this person, whether it's someone new, don't rush into things. Take time to build the relationship, build the connection. If you want this 10 of pentacles, you need to be very, very patient. Also only give to people who are giving to you. I feel like you have in the past gave to people who didn't give to you. If this it was this person, then if this person comes around, you need to make sure that they are willing to give to this connection as much as you gave to them or as much as you are willing to give. You need to make sure you both are on the same page. All right, Gemini. Okay. Let's get some cards here. Yeah, see, I'm secretly obsessed with you. I cut the deck. It doesn't feel right at being apart from you. I don't want to be reminded of you. Yeah, the Seven of Cups was here. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. This person can't get you off their head. And they are trying not to be obs that obsessed with you. I'm scared to reach out to you, bottom of the deck. I have inner childhood wounds. Yeah, the devil could symbolize that. This person is going to take that time to come towards you. The page of pentacles. They want to be slow. They want to think this through before they approach you. They don't want to come off as someone who is very vulnerable. So that is why they are going to take their time. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. And bottom of the deck is forgiveness. Stop focusing on your energy and past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. You need to work on forgiving yourself and this person a bit, I feel. And you, do, you need also to trust this process. If this person comes towards you with this devil energy, with this manipulative energy, then maybe you need to let this person go. You have to accept that. You have to trust that the universe is going to bring towards you someone who is better than this person, who treats you better than this person. 
okay all right gemini that's the reading i hope you find the clarity you've been looking for i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye